there's something else that just came out that I was like, you know, I'm, I'm you know, I, was, I saw it come out today. The trailer dropped for it, and it just made me be like, like, what is happening? Like, when did they shoot this? When did this go down? But can we just can we talk about Horizon? Can we talk about it? talk about this because this seems like it came out of nowhere for me right now kevin cosner doing like four movies everybody four feature long movies and two of them are coming out this summer and it's supposed to be like the biggest western ever of course this seems like something up his alley and honestly he's been doing this since a long time the postman uh dance with wolves back in the day of course has been a part of like so many westerns this makes sense to me but there's two big movies come out part one part two there's part three and four still these are coming out june 28th and august 16th the drop trailer drop looks like an epic western and it takes place during the the, the 15 year span of pre and post civil war expansion and settlement of the american west the man looks pretty freaking awesome though like how we feel about this did anybody hear about this before jake did you hear about this before at all no i heard that he was doing a lot of stuff but it was never said what stuff you know and yeah. i i guess i just kind of assumed it was like the divorce stuff but clearly oh, yeah, I mean, that's been a big thing for him. Other, he's distracting himself with a lot of other things. So, yeah, it looks good. Do you like it or are you like this is too much? Uh, I'll probably watch it. I like stories. It depends on the story and the writing, I suppose, because I really like Westerns and I read a lot of old Western novels and stuff like that. So it's it's yeah, it's it's right up my alley, but we'll have to see. So. Yeah, I mean, it looks visually stunning. I mean, honestly, it looks like they spent a lot of money on it. And he said he had to get the budget together to do this, too. That's why it took so long. Right. Uh, but it's just interesting. This came out of nowhere for me. I like how Queen said he's ever going to do a water world, too. I don't think the water world is ever going to happen, no. uh, unfortunately. No. I would watch it. I would watch water world, too. I'd be all about that. That'd be kind of cool. Water world, too. <laughs> We're getting wetter. We're dirt getting world. wet. I it's like time to get world. wet, everybody. <laughs> wet again. Wet it up. Like uh, thirsty. Yeah. I'll take a second one. Yeah. Thirsty Daddy, what do you think? Do you think this is a good idea making this two-parter this close back to back? Is this exciting, or do you think this is a lot, uh, a lot too much for or too much for you? What do you think? No, I like I like his work. He's he's a good good actor in this generation to do a western. But yeah, in, in a lot of ways, it's kind of like how the West was won to go back at, before went to my youth. You know, where it's, they stretch it out and tell a story about how the what it was like in historically. And that's what they're it's, doing here. It's pretty cool. And honestly, I'm I'm st- I'm still I'm just shocked about how back to back it is though. June and August. That seems like that never happens, you know? Oh, I've never heard it happen, but it's it's nice that they're putting them together so you can you keep the thought going in, in a person's mind. Yeah. Uh, Dirt World. Look at that, David Banner. The West World, the Water World one, Dirt World. I kinda like that. Uh, well, see this, here, is, this just- is Water World before the before the rain came. <laughs> yeah, it's a third world. But like, look at the cast. I got Luke Wilson in this, Sam Worthington, uh, uh, Giovanni Ribisi. You got Will Patton. You got Deanna Miller. And of course, you also have in here Kevin Cosner, too. But it's 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 very interesting to me. I, I think it, it could be really fascinating. It's a lot of money spent on this. Do two back to back like this, Rachel. Do you think that how do you think it's going to go? If it fails, is that going to be like monumentally like destroying for Warner Brothers? This is a Warner Brothers production. Warner Brothers has not been doing too hot lately. So no, if haven't. this kind of if this flops, it might really hurt them. Um, I think marketing wise, it's interesting to release them kind of back to back like that. Uh, like JR was saying, to keep that interest going, um, especially with something like a Western where there's we're not at the peak of the Western market right now. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're really so not. <laughs> keeping that momentum going will be a lot better than maybe releasing it in a year or two like most sequels would come out yeah i mean yeah it's all and then you're gonna have two more coming on top of this too mm-hmm. which is just it just it's just it's just wild to me but again they must feel something's great about these scripts or something in order to do this many projects back to back and make this come to fruition so Content i don't know i trust wise, them as a director i'm you, pretty uh, uh apprehensive about it and that's just kind of my feelings about most westerns uh having grown up in the american southwest uh, yeah. You learn a lot about the West because you, for some reason, schools teach regionally. So depending on where you went to to high school and middle school is kind of just that's all you learned about for American history. Um, it's, it's true. So I know I learned a lot about the West and Western expansion and um, <laughs> the West mythos and the way it's portrayed in Hollywood has never really been very accurate. Yeah. Um, 
And I don't love that. I would love to see Western film cover some of the topics that were actually happening in the West a little bit more than history likes to acknowledge. There was a lot of people of color. There was a lot of uh, their large Hispanic group. There were a lot of cowboys who were not, you know, the white guy hero type. So yeah. I would I would be interested in seeing a more diverse cast. I would be interested in seeing uh, more women portrayed. Women weren't just saloon girls; they were business owners. They were there was a lot of opportunity in the West for groups that didn't have opportunity in back East. Maybe maybe well, this will expand saying, into that. What most people don't realize that sixty five percent of the cowboys mm -hmm. were gentlemen of color. They yeah. weren't Caucasian. Absolutely. Yeah. And all and that's your been well documented over the years are all white guys. So let's get some more <laughs> diversity in the casts. It's a lot, a lot of white guys. Maybe, maybe in part two or three or four, you maybe they'll expand into that. We'll have to see. Kevin Cosner's been doing this for a long time, and you're right, he has he kind of missed that. But maybe he'll figure out. I like when she said, uh, Queens of my Annie Oakley, that'd be a great one, too. It'd that'd be, be a great, great idea. Yeah, one yeah. of my first plays was about uh, Annie Get Your Gun. That I did when I was in high school. My first play was Annie Get Your Gun and and uh, Annie Oakley and anything you can do, I can do better. All that stuff. So uh, she could that could be a great thing. Maybe they can go into without being a musical though and make a great production too. Maybe Kevin Costner can do that. I don't know, but he's doing this, everybody, and uh, I hope it's good. It honestly, looks like a big epic adventure. And again, I think there might be some people that will have their issues with it, but he still tends to do a good job of directing. So I hope this Horizon does really well. See, the American Saga, it's called. So, came out of nowhere for me. Big budget movies back to back this coming that, summer. That's so. a really lofty name for a movie about a very specific time period. I, yeah, American <laughs> Saga. And I was the like, American oh. Saga covers 30 years. <laughs> 15 <laughs> whole like, years of the American history. Right. It's, it's in four movies. I mean, it's, 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 it's very ambitious, I will say this for Kevin Costner. Very ambitious. So, maybe. Maybe it'll be good. Maybe it won't. But I mean, it looks good visually. Yes, and, David. Uh, she was real. Yep. Yep. There you go. Let's do an Annie Oakley, Oakley story. And let's like, let's see how this goes. It comes out this summer. So hopefully it's good. I'm kind of interested to see it. Again, visuals are great. Uh, hopefully it's, hopefully it's awesome.